Hi, Kelly. My name is Morgan. I'm the Social Network Strategy Manager, or SNS Manager for short. I'll be talking to you more about our SNS program today. It looks like you were referred by Travis, your HIV tester. Well, it's nice to meet you. How are you today? Hi, Morgan. It's good to meet you, too. Yeah. Um, Travis mentioned you in the program and that I might be a good fit for it. I, I find you guys to be really helpful, and I have some friends I'd like to come get tested, too. That's great. What did Travis tell you about SNS? He told me that I would be talking to people I know and telling them to come here and get an HIV test, and that if I did all that and they come in and test, then I would get paid for it. Yep, that's about right. Our payment, what we call an incentive, is a gift card. And we're not asking you to speak to just anyone, but more specifically, the people you know and your sexual, social, and or drug using networks who you think might have increased chances of getting HIV. We call the people you bring in from your networks, network associates. The population we're focusing on is people between the ages of 18 and 35 who inject drugs. Oh, right. Yeah, I can do that. That's great. So my role here is to help you identify potential network associates. I'll also help you draw up a plan for how to talk to them about HIV testing during what we call a coaching session. We'll start by identifying and prioritizing two or three of your network associates, and then we'll work on a plan for each network associate we've identified. After we have a plan, you'll talk to them individually using the plan we created. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, how will you know who I've referred to the program? Ah, uh, well, we'll give you a referral coupon for each one of them. The coupons have a special code that links them to you. This way, we know if your network associate comes in and gets tested, which helps us track the incentive you've earned through your network associate. It'll be really important that your network associates bring in this referral coupon as it also provides them with the gift card. And we can use the coupon to link them to you. Oh, okay. Um, so how much do we get paid? Yes, of course. That's important. You'll earn a $5 gift card for each one of your network associates that come in and get tested. Your network associate will earn a $10 gift card if they get tested. So I'll only get paid if my network associate comes in for testing. Well, you have the potential to earn a $5 gift card for every network associate you recruit for testing, for as long as you continue to bring in people who meet the criteria of our program, people who inject drugs, between the ages of 18 and 35. Yeah, I definitely know a lot of people who fit that description. That'll be really helpful when we start to identify your network associate. What questions can I answer for you? Uh, I can't really think of any. <laughs> it feels pretty straightforward. Great, sounds like we're ready to move on to our first coaching session where we will identify and come up with a plan to talk to one of your network associates. Before we begin, what's your understanding of what I'm asking you to do? Uh, well, you're asking me if I'd be interested in helping people in my network who I think might be doing things that make them more likely to get HIV and encouraging them to come in and test so that they know their status. Yep, that's right. And we're looking specifically for people who you believe are engaging in behaviors that may increase their chances in getting HIV or are unaware of their HIV status. You will want to have a close relationship with them. That way, you'll feel more comfortable talking with them. So, now that you've attended our orientation and learned more about our SNS programs, are you still interested in participating? Yeah, yeah, I am. Okay, great. It's important for you to know that this session and all future sessions remain strictly confidential. That means that whatever you say within our coaching session stays between us. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay, so let's begin by identifying someone in your network who you think has behaviors that may increase their chances of getting HIV or who should get tested. Can you think of someone you'd be willing to have a discussion with? Uh, yeah, maybe my brother, Chris. Great, tell me a little bit about Chris. Uh, he's a couple years younger than me, tall, skinny, shaved head, always wearing his favorite jersey. <laughs> um, we're very close, he's a really good guy. Yeah, he's had some tough luck, but he's very likable, and I think he could benefit from knowing his status. Well, it sounds like you care about him, and you have a great relationship with him. Why do you think Chris has risk factors for HIV? Well, we've shot up together a couple of times, uh, and from what he tells me, I'm pretty sure he doesn't use condoms. 
Okay, when you say you've shot up together, do you mean that you've shared needles and works? Yeah, exactly. Okay, and when you say he doesn't use condoms, if you don't mind sharing, can you tell me a little bit more about that? I don't know, I just know he doesn't use condoms. That's okay. Any information you can provide is helpful. Uh, do you know if Chris has HIV or is aware of his status? I'm not sure if he's ever been tested. Sounds like Chris would be a good person to talk to. Let's talk about how you would go about approaching him. Now, when and where would you bring up the subject of HIV testing with him, and what would you say about it? Well, I don't know when I will bring it up, but I could tell him about a TikTok I saw uh, about HIV and the ways people can get it. That sounds like a good plan. Now, the best time to bring this up is when he can have full access to the agency, meaning he doesn't have to wait to get tested. For example, the weekend is not a good time because the agency is closed, so just keep that in mind. It's also important that you talk to him in a private setting, just like this one. That way, whatever you say stays between the two of you, and you won't get distracted by other people. Okay, that's helpful. Tomorrow afternoon at my place might work. It's private and no one will be around. Sounds like a good idea. How do you think Chris would react to you bringing up the subject of HIV testing, and then how would you respond to Chris? Uh, well, first I have to make sure he's not high. Um, he may not make the connection at first that he's at risk, you know? Um, but I, I do think he'd be cool about it since we've shot up together before, and especially if he's having sex without condoms, that puts us both at risk. That sounds great. So we've been focusing on Chris and how he would react to these questions, but now I want to focus in on you a bit. If Chris asks you, how comfortable would you be disclosing your status in your decision to test? Is that something I have to tell him? That's up to you. Uh, yeah, I I'd totally be okay with it. So you feel pretty comfortable telling him about getting tested. Now, when Chris decides to come in and get his HIV test, we can approach it in a few different ways. He can come into the agency on his own, you can come with him, or he can talk with me about a place to meet that works best for him. What do you think he would prefer? I'm not sure. He'd probably want to know all this. Um, could he just call you? Of course. He and I can figure out what works best for him. Whatever Chris decides, make sure he brings in this referral coupon. That way, I know why he's here, and you both are sure to get your incentives. Speaking of incentives, uh, how will you explain it to Chris? I'm not sure. How would you explain it? So, for each coaching session guide we fill out, I will give you a referral coupon for the network associate we just made a plan for. In this case, you get one for Chris. Now, when you meet with Chris and he decides to come in for his HIV test, you will need to give him that referral coupon and stress the importance of him bringing it in. He will turn it in to the HIV tester and then receive a $10 gift card in return. We will take that coupon and link it to you using the friend code. That will let us know you've also earned a $5 gift card because one of your network associates tested with us. Okay, that makes sense. Um, I'll make sure he knows to bring the coupon in with them. Great, sounds like you have a good plan in place. Is there anything you'd like to talk more about so you feel more prepared to talk to Chris? Um, like. HIV transmission risk, confidentiality, support services? Nope. Uh, but if I do have any more questions, can I just reach out to you? Absolutely. I'm always happy to answer questions that come up. Well, Kelly, we have discussed a lot, so I just want to summarize the plan we came up with for Chris. You are going to talk to him tomorrow at your place. You'll bring up that you saw a TikTok about HIV and encourage him to get tested. You'll give him the referral coupon with our address and testing hours on it, and if he's interested, you'll have him call me to set up a time and place to get tested. You'll also explain that he'll get a $10 gift card if he gets tested. So, how do you feel about this plan? Is there anything else you'd like support with? I feel good about it. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Okay, great. Well, it sounds like you're feeling pretty confident you can carry out this plan with Chris. Yeah. Chris is my brother, and he's a good friend. I, I know I can talk to him about this stuff. Sounds good. Now, after you talk with Chris, I would like to follow up with you and see how things went. How would you like for us to follow up with each other after you talk to Chris? Um, can I call you tomorrow after I talk to him, let you know how it went? Perfect. I'll plan on hearing from you by end of day tomorrow. I'll be here until 5. Okay, I'll, I'll try to do it by 5. Okay.
Great. If I ever call you, is it okay to leave a message? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Kelly, I think you have a great plan in place. What final questions or concerns do you have? I don't have any more questions. Thank you so much for coming in, Kelly. Thank you.